For the second time in less than two weeks, police raided another daycare center. This time, investigators say they found several ghost guns. Police arrested three people, including one teenager they believe manufactured those guns. Fox 5's Briella Tarosetti joins us from East Harlem with those details. Good morning, Briella. Yeah, Dana Tashani, good morning to both of you. This was a family daycare run out of someone's home here in East Harlem, similar to the operation up in the Bronx. The difference being these ghost guns were not found by accident. Investigators apparently had their eye on this situation for quite some time now. Those guns were found in an unlocked room, and the daycare has since been shut down. We are going to remain vigilant. Mayor Adams made that promise to parents after police raided yet another New York City daycare. Three people, including two minors, are now under arrest after illegal weapons were found inside. Who would have thought that we must add uh, to our list of inspections of do we have 3D printers that can print guns? The mayor held a public safety-related press conference yesterday where he held one of several ghost guns found in the East Harlem home daycare. Police executed three search warrants there on 117th Street as part of a long-term investigation into the manufacture and sale of privately made firearms, or PMFs. Investigators recovered a 3D printer, 3D printing tools, and plastic filament, two completed 3D printed firearms, one 3D printed assault pistol in the final stages of assembly, and one additional 3D printed lower receiver. Investigators say 18-year-old Karan Kohli, who lives in the apartment with his mother, and two minors bought ghost gun parts online and then assembled them inside. Kohli was charged with illegal firearms possession, manufacturing of a machine gun, and reckless endangerment. He was arraigned late last night. The NYPD also found a maltreated and neglected dog. Kohli's mother, who runs the home daycare, will not face any charges. You got an 18-year-old in his room, 3D printer. He's not making little robotic toys. He's making guns. But that... That should be scary to everyone. The daycare has been up and running since early 2021 and was last inspected this February. It received three minor violations, which officials say were all corrected. The stunning find comes shortly after 38-year-old Felix Herrera was charged in the fatal fentanyl poisoning of one-year-old Nicholas Dominici and overdoses of three other children. He was captured in Mexico on Tuesday after being on the run for nearly two weeks. Authorities say the Divino Nino daycare his wife, Gray Mendez, ran was actually a front for a drug peddling business. Two others were also arrested in connection with this tragedy. We are clear that we must protect children in this city. Bail for Coley was set at $300,000 cash or $500,000 bond. Now, arrest information for the other two individuals, including their identities and their exact charges, is not available at this time, considering they are minors. For now, though, we're live in East Harlem. Tashani, back to you. Briella, thank you.